Hello and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon. We're playing in the second scenario today called Dynamite Dunes. And let's see what our objectives are. So it says Built in the middle of the desert. This theme park contains just one roller coaster but has space for expansion. Our objective is to have at least 650 guests in the park at the end of October year 3 with a park rating of at least 600. Looks like the park's open and let's just have a look. So we can have a look. Oh, we can see we have a roller coaster. Now anyone who joined me in the last episode to play Forest Frontiers, you'll know that we didn't build a roller coaster and we have yet to see a roller coaster, so this is the first one. The screaming guests never gets old. So yeah, this is our ride and it's called uh, Dynamite Blaster. And as you can see, one biggest difference so far is that we're in a desert, not, not in uh, the forest. And uh, it looks like we've got 82 guests at the moment. We've got £10,000 to play with. Let's have a look. Do we have a loan? Yes, we've got a £10,000 loan. Yeah, so let's have a look at this roller coaster. See what we can s find out about it. So, it's a mine train roller coaster. You get two or four passengers per car. Not sure why it says two or four. Oh, I see. Is it kind of like you can fill it with two or four? So, I kind of see what they're meaning. Um, so there's three trains, and each has got five cars each. It looks like it's going to rain. So I don't think the coaster is going to be popular for much longer. Because everyone's going to get soaked. So some of the settings I can show you are roller coasters. Um, this is a feature built in the game. You can actually set how fast the lift hill chain speed is. So you might feel that you want less time spent climbing here. We'll just play with this actually. So there, you can see it's slower. That's a bit faster. You can even hear hear the coaster slightly differently as you change that. That can be handy. It might make the ride the length shorter or longer, which may make it more exciting or less exciting. You would probably have to test it to see what impact that has on the ride. You can change you can change things like the color of the track. So you watch to make it red. You could do that. Um, we'll change that back to default for the moment. You can also change the colour of the vehicle. So let's just say you wanted to make the one of the trains red. There you go. There's a red one. You could have vehicle number two. So train two, we could have like red. And train three, we might want to have uh, something that's blue. For example, there you go. And let's just have one that's yellow. Because, you know, why not? So we'll make one yellow. <laughs> Makes it a bit more interesting. There's also an option here to play music, so you can play music in the ride. You've got different types of music. So you've got like Wild West. Um, also, there's a sort of mini camera here that you can use, mini camera mode. And say you just want to see what's happening at the station, you can click on a station one. And it's broken down. Well, that isn't good, is it? Right. So, good time to show you this. So, if a ride breaks down, obviously you want your mechanic to fix it. Now, we don't have one, so we're quickly going to go into the staff panel, go to mechanics, and then we're going to hire a new mechanic, which costs £80 per month. So, we're going to just place him. Uh, there he is. And what you'll see here, if you watch the box, he should get a wee phone call in a second. There we go. Answering radio call. Um, so somebody's calling him to let him know that he needs to repair the coaster. And then it tells you what he's doing. Responding to dynamite blaster. So we'll, um, you can click like that on the mechanic. Now that mutes some of the sound and it, sh it follows him and shows you what he's doing. So you can see here on the screen obviously what he's up to. He's obviously having an inspection of the coaster. He's fixing the ride. And it's fixed. So that was pretty good going. Did that quickly. You 
can set job duties for the mechanic and any member of staff so for example for the mechanic you can have him inspect raids or fix raids so you could allocate a mechanic purely for inspections that might um, be a good idea to um, spread the workload you can also click on this paper newspaper kind of um, icon it tells you what his wages are per month tells you when he was employed and it also tells you things like rides inspected and rides fixed not really sure how, to, how that information really changes the gameplay in the uh, in roller coaster tycoon but uh, it could be handy you could sort of award your staff other staff members you can hire include uh, handymen uh, cleaners um, I suppose it should really be cleaners and there should be male and female characters I do notice that the mechanics male the cleaners male the security guards male entertainer I guess could be male or female but uh, slight uh, missed opportunity there to have a bit of diversity in the work force there I'm um, sure it wasn't deliberate but um, yeah that would have been a nice feature to have so as you can see there's a few instances of sick uh, somebody's thrown up here so we want to hire the handyman and uh, I'll just dr drop him here obviously there's a, a tool here you can use it's like a little um, grabber like one of those things you get at the fairground amusements and to pick up cuddly toys you can do that with the handyman and, and drop him there and then he'll clean up that sick um, I never actually appreciated that before that that is a homage to the grabber machines that's quite interesting another feature with the staff is you can click on this button and it's set in patrol areas so say you had an area of your park which was always getting people throwing up on you could basically zone that area and then what the handyman will do is he will only walk up and down this section of path to make sure it's clean so it can be quite handy for patrolling areas of concern let's see and obviously you can take that off anytime you can hook that down with your left left click with your mouse and then you can click uh, cancel patrol area like that and then he'll just now go everywhere in the park you can also change his name so um, uh, my name is Alan so you could call the handyman Alan if you wanted or anything so we'll call him Alan again you can click on that it will take you to where he is and you can also sack members of staff now you might have reasons for sacking them you might have a park that's just got too many handymen or mechanics that are not needed and it's costing you money and you just need to dismiss them um, so your staff are very loyal in the game they don't misbehave or uh, you know, don't have to discipline them or anything like that so there's not really a reason to get rid of them unless you've just taken on too many staff uh, and to be honest as the game goes on usually you need more staff so it's uh, very unusual to, 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 ha to sack staff um, while we're in there um, you can also hire a security guard so um, what happens a lot is guests that are very unhappy will start to vandalise your park by destroying your benches, destroying bins, things like that. So you might want a security guard to kind of keep an eye on them, make sure everyone's behaving. Uh, you can also hire an entertainer. Um, I've just hired an entertainer, didn't really mean to, but it's fine, we'll have, a, we'll have one anyway. And he'll just make guests a little bit happier walking around, which is good. Um, you can give him a different costume, so we've got a panda costume, a tiger costume, an elephant costume, or a Roman costume, so... Let's go for a panda, because I'm from Edinburgh, and we have pandas at the zoo, so we'll um, have a panda in our park. And it also tells you again their wages and when they were employed. So that's pretty much the staff tab. Obviously the research tab that we looked at last time. We've just had a notification to say that we've got new theming, which is classical slash Roman theming. So if you click on there, that opens the scenery tab. You can also click up here to get that. And we've got all this nice Roman kind of 
theming, which is fantastic, really interesting. So we might use that for some of our rides. Um, and we've got some normal funding at the moment in place for researching uh, different things like transport rides, gentle rides, roller coasters, thrill rides, water rides, shops and stalls, or scenery and theming. And it's kind of random which one it researches next. So if you did want to research something in particular, you could take the ticks off here and then just research those things. And then you can maximise your funding as well. Obviously we've got to build new rides, so let's just have a look and see what we've got to play with. So we can build a miniature railway. We've got uh, a haunted house, which can be a really good ride for when it's raining, because obviously you don't get wet. <laughs> uh, the carousel actually is, is, is an okay ride for in the rain, because it's covered. Car ride's not so good in the rain, but it uh, can be a more exciting ride, because you can have track going over the ride and intersecting with the ride and then you can go in tunnels things like that and you can go up and down the slopes so that can be quite exciting and you can also theme all these things with scenery um you've got your roller coaster tab so we can build a, a wooden roller coaster and um, we can also build another mine train coaster if we wanted we've already got our coaster here but we could do that throw rides we've got um twist a popular fairground attraction you could build that we also got water rides we've got a log flume and we've got um, shops and stalls, so that's good. Um, so let's build. Now I'm going to do something I've never done before in this level, and I've just spotted an opportunity here, which is quite exciting. Hmm, I never. This is interesting. Okay, so let's let's build here. I'm going to make it nice and long. And we're going to go right. No, I'm going to need a bit more than that. Go like that. And around. Now we're going to go up. So we're going to make this up, up, up. No, it's cool like that. Then we're gonna go down. Mm, that's, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's a bit dangerous. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll curl around the corner. Now the speed's gonna be quite fast around there, so that should be fine. And I think what we'll do is we'll drop it again. A little bit. Oh yeah, I like this. So we'll do that and then we'll drop it again. So it's going to be quite fast paced this bit. And then I'm going to go around the corner. And let's go right to the edge actually. Over there. And then in theory, yeah, we can go up. So that's a good thing we can do. I like this track I've done so far, it's something different. And we'll go down like that, and then we'll drop it again. And I think we'll do that, and then we'll drop it again. Oops, we're a wee bit. What we'll do is we'll do that and then we'll go around to some straight tracks. And what I'm actually trying to do here is I'm trying to I'm gonna go underground now. Now I can't construct there. Uh, something else you can do in the game is if you click on the trowel, you can customize the land, so if you want some grass you can do that. You can also um, uh, you can sort of color 
texture sort of terrain, for example. It's hard to show you that. It's mm. not really anywhere like that I can see at the moment. Um, come back to that later. You can select areas of land and you increase the height of it. So, uh, oops, what's that? So we'll do one square. What we're going to do is this bit. We're going to lower it. So, if, if you, um, I'm just going to change that back to sand. If you click with your left mouse and then pull down, there you go. It's created a. It's made sort of lowered the level. Uh, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that, but we are going underground. So you can create rides underground. Uh, oops. Yeah. So we'll go. So yeah, I think we'll just make it a bit more interesting. There you go. And as you see, we're at the other end now. Not quite sure where we're at here. Is it uh, here? There we go. That was good. So yeah, we'll go up, up, up like that. And we'll go down. Oops, a bit too much. Then we'll go like that, and then we'll go down. I think we'll make a very long. Actually, you know what? Another thing you can do is you can have an on ride photo section. So we'll do that. So we guests can get a picture taken of themselves. So this is a good analog log for them. So that's probably not the best place to put that. So we'll make a platform like that. And I would say, where's the best place to put that, eh? probably here so let's you can right click on any part of the track at any time and then you can delete the track and then if we do next we can create a on ride photo section so if we do that there we go that's it built in there uh, you can also add features like let's get rid of a track piece there there's a special track it's called a reverse turntable so what will happen is when the log flume comes here, it will rotate um, 360 degrees, and then it will it will continue along. And I want to check that. Is it is it actually going to reverse 360, or is it actually going to go 180? Because it says reverse turntable. Hmm. Not sure about that. I think I might want to just take that out. Stay. We'll come back to it later. Try to think what other things you can do. New ride available: Junior Roller Coaster. So we'll see if we can build that. Pop the path there. Uh, we've got a kind of dust, dust kind of track this time instead of tarmac. So we'll put that down, like so, and um, we'll make. Now there are. Going to max. I want the maximum number of boats 31 and there's four passengers per boat so in theory that's 120 and then we'll times that by two so we're talking about 24 24 entrance tiles so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So quite a lot. Um, but as I say, it's going to be a popular ride. So let's, let's open it. And wait for a full load. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of logs. So this, we're hoping this is going to be a very, uh, very good ride and popular. We've already got people coming up already, which is great. Uh, let's see what guests are thinking at the moment. 
Dynamite Blaster is really good value. Right, so we'll pop the money up for that a wee bit. We'll put it up 20, no, we'll put it up 20p here. There's our first guess on, on the way. Now, we haven't tested this ride yet, and we probably should have, and we haven't, so that's not very good health and safety. But we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty confident we'll be okay. Um, there's a few people throwing up. Um, something that you can do to combat that, apart from having a handyman, is to put benches um, around your park. And um, what will happen is people that are feeling unwell will actually sit down uh, to kind of get better. So that's something you can do. I notice there aren't any benches anywhere, so we definitely need to get them down there. Put some down here too, that we can see. Again, we'll put a, a ride section sign there just to stop people walking into the exit. Because that's just a waste of their time, and we don't want anyone really going in there. I think we need uh, a gentle ride. Let's create something like the haunted house. So, uh, pop that there. Yeah. Uh, we'll pop the entrance there and then the exit there. And we'll create, let's create a spooky kind of entrance. Uh, what else can we find out? It's got 15 passengers so we're talking about three pieces really. Um, one, two, three, let's have a look. Uh, uh, we'll just make it a little bit longer, four pieces, I'm sure that'll be fine. And let's make a sort of dark path from the haunted house to give it a bit of theming. We could rename it I guess as well. Call it Haunted House. And we'll get that open. Great. How is our log flume doing? Oh, our first boat is just about going underground. Let's see if we've got any test results. No test results yet, because I've not made it all the way around. You can click on the eye icon and you can select underground view. Uh, so obviously you can see the log flume there, which is underground, but it's going around, which is very good. And obviously it's going to come out the other end shortly. So we can take underground uh, view off, like that. climbing the last bit, so that's good. It's a haunted house there. <laughs> uh, save it. Save as. New file. Uh, Dynamite Dunes. Let's play. Let's like so. Let's save it. There's a lot of people throwing up. Um, let's build some toilets, because we don't have any toilets. And um, we'll make we'll put them here in the middle, kind of at the park. And then we'll charge 10p just to keep the upkeep of the toilets. Now, the first boat's arrived and we've got a problem because they can't get off, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the operations so that it leaves when another one arrives at the station. And uh, I'm gonna put any load as well, because and minimum time off. So I want these boats moving. Because they're causing a big blockage at the moment. So we've got a good number of boats. Hopefully this ride should be busy a lot and we can get people on on and off this ride as quickly as possible and make sure they have a good time. So yeah. Honey House is doing pretty good there. Nice queue. Got 181 guests, which is good. So we'll change this just to uh, wait for full load because we do want to keep a few boats back. 
Uh, it's interesting, some of the boats have been like let away here really close to each other. I'm actually a bit surprised how close they are. It's kind of a health and safety no no. Oh, they're spread out a bit more now, but yeah, that one there, you see, that's far too close to um, the one in front. Lots of empty boats, which is not good. So obviously now there's a lot of people in the queue. It tells you, yeah, 11 people in the queue. We've got no boats, so we need to get this one in quick. And as I say, there's loads of empty ones here, so definitely want to get those boats in quick. See what other rides we can build. So we'll build a drink stall because because it's in a desert, uh, everyone is likely to be quite thirsty. So we'll do that. I think we'll build it here and open that. We'll create some bins around the park as well, keep it tidy. A nice amount of people coming on the ride here, that's good. See what guests are thinking. I feel sick, oh dear. This dynamite is too intense, so we probably need um, a few more gentle rides, I think. Um, we've got car ride, so we could create a car ride. Uh, there's one here called Mini Cars, that looks quite good. So that's obviously a custom track that someone else has created or came with the game. So we'll drop that one in there. I'm just going to do that slightly further back. There we go, we've got £3,000 left, so we'll put the entrance there. And I'll put it next to there. New ride attraction, information kiosk, obviously. We'll quickly just build that, because that's going to help with, because uh, they sell maps and umbrellas, so we'll get that open. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, if you click on the car ride, it says you can obviously you can choose the types of cars you have. So you can have pickup trucks, or you can have sports cars, or you can have racing cars. So we'll have racing cars just now. You can get one passenger per car. Now, actually, let's have a look at that. So you get one per car. You get two in the sport in the sports cars, so let's go for the sports cars. And let's have a crazy amount of cars, fifteen cars. Uh, so thirty, so we're talking about a queue length of about six tiles. So let's do that. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, let's try something different. Let's get rid of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. That's what we want. And then um, we'll create a path uh, from here, I think, so people can get out. There we go. And then we'll um, get that open. Uh, going back to the music that we had earlier. You can obviously change it, you could have a uh, pirate themed. Toyland. You can have, what else should we have? Uh, rock. My personal favourite is the Egyptian style. Funky, yeah. I quite like that. We'll have that for a while.
So I think for the mini cars, we'll take the weight for button off. Because we want cars to keep moving. So we're doing pretty good. Um, let's see. profit are we making? We're losing money, right. This is a good time to show you the finances settings in the game. So if you go to down here, there's a number of different options you've got. So this tells you a lot of information such as um, you know, your sales from food, staff wages, interest from Interest from loans, ride tickets, um, land purchases, landscaping, ride running costs. It's a good way to see where all the costs are going. I don't usually use this too much. I usually pay attention to the bottom line, what your profit is. And if you're not making profit, then do something about it. Um, obviously here, you've got a loan. And it's 1% per year, so in theory you want to get rid of that loan by the end of the first year if possible. Sometimes not easy to do that. You've got a tab here that tells you cash you've got less the loan. So obviously we haven't really got anything. Um, so it's dropped quite dramatically because we are using a loan at the moment. We've got things like the park value. So as you add more rides and paths and scenery, the value of the park goes up. So obviously we've got a park value of 68,000 at the moment. So it's not a huge amount of money, but it's, it's going up, which is good as we're building more rides. Also a profit graph. So as you can see, um, profits dropped there, but that's probably all the building that we were doing and it seems to have be cre creeping up. Bit of a dip again. Maybe we were building the log flume or something like that and then it's gone up. So that's okay, that's not too bad. Uh, this is the one that I use a lot. It's um, marketing campaigns. You can run marketing campaigns to encourage more guests to come to your park. So uh, there's one there vouchers for free entry to the park. And um, we're not charging anyway, so that probably doesn't make any sense. But you can get vouchers for free rides on a particular ride, so that could be handy if you've got something that's not that popular you want to promote. You can offer vouchers for half price entry to the park vouchers for free food or drink um, you can have an advertising campaign for the park or advertising campaigns for a particular ride as well so that's quite handy to have also there's a link here back to the, the research tab same thing as, as the button here but it's just another way of getting into it um, so yeah very good as I say th this game is fantastic it's very well designed um, it's also a very good game for teaching you how to manage a theme park. It's uh, I mean, if anyone in real life was going to manage a theme park I'd say go and get a roller coaster tycoon because it's a good introduction to how you would run it and, and understand all the different things involved like health and safety, managing the, the hygiene of the park, making things exciting, all that kind of thing that's going on. It's, it's good, it's interesting. Now, what was her park objective again? It was to have 650 guests in the park. So we've got a rating of 834, which is fantastic. Um, we have not won any awards, and we're on track. We've had 326 admissions and 281, so that's pretty good. Most people who've who've arrived at the park have stayed at the park, which is good. Um, obviously people get tired as time goes on so there are people there are going to be people that leave but that's okay love that jingling jangling sound it's so good so satisfying let's build a twist and we're going to put it somewhere around it let's put it right at the top here 
Now, the reason I put it way up there is because I want to kind of expand the park. Because we've got this one path here which is getting a little bit crowded, so we want to just spread everyone out a wee bit. Um, so we'll make a path of four. Like that. And then I think we'll do that. And then we'll do that. There we go. And then we'll get this path back to the main park. I think what we'll do is uh, that. And then we'll do that. We've won an award for being the safest park in the country. That's good. So we'll do that. And then we'll go down there, like that. Whoops. Yep, <laughs> we're getting there. Sort of. Ah, I went a bit wrong there at the end. Let's just go down. Oh dear, okay, let's try and get this path on track. There we go, so we don't need these bits. There we go, so. There we go, and then we'll get this bit open. Let's build an ice cream shop. Fruity ices. Right, let's do that. It's quite hot, so people might buy them. Let's put some bench. Uh, some benches down. Some bins. That should help. Uh, it's not really any customers yet, so look. Hmm. So, yeah, the park's doing pretty good at the moment. Pretty good. So let's let's have a marketing campaign. So let's go in here and let's get some advertising for the park. So you can select how much money you want to spend. Well, it's more to do with how long you want to run the campaign and it tells you how much it's going to cost. So let's just go for the maximum. Uh, so we can't actually afford that. Let's drop it to 2000. So we'll, for six weeks, we're going to run an advertising campaign for the park. So let's start the campaign. So here it tells you that the campaign is in progress. We've spent a lot of money on that, but uh, hopefully we're going to gain that back in profit and hopefully we're going to get an influx of visitors coming to the park, uh, which is what our objective is anyway, so that's good. So yeah, we're starting to, starting to pick the pace up. click on this tab it gives you a list of all the rides that you have in the park so you can obviously you can close them all at once or you can obviously select them individually you can also select all the shops and stalls that you've got you can select uh, toilets and information kiosks if you go back to raid another thing you can do is this is a tab here which gives you a whole lot of options such as uh, popularity so if you want to see how popular rides are you can sort them. So the log flume is 100% popular, so pretty much everybody is loving that ride. Really good. Mini cars, however, it's only got 48%, so people are not always satisfied with that. Now, it might be because excitement rating, so it's at 2.69. Click on the log flume, it's uh, 5.67, so um, yeah, it's more exciting. It's not very intense. Um, it's, it's a much more child friendly ride so you, you can click on things like satisfaction all pretty high 70% at least you can this one's very important profit you can sort by profit so you can see here that the log flume is generating over four and a half thousand pounds per hour so that is very popular ride at the moment next ride dynamite blaster that's 
also generating about three grand every hour, so that's a very popular ride as well. You've got the like the haunted house, which that's a pretty good income for the haunted house, eight hundred and fifty pounds an hour. That's pretty good, certainly in business. Um, and then our least favourite one is mini cars, which is still making a good profit of three hundred and sixty nine pound fifty a month. Uh, sorry, an hour, which is pretty good in my opinion. So still generating lots of money. You can select things like total number of customers so you can see that the roller coaster that we've got has, a, has had the most amount of customers you can click on things like total profit um, so yeah the roller coaster has been here the longest so you'd probably expect that to have the most profit and being a very popular ride as well and then the log flume is followed in second you can sort by customers per hour so the log flume is the busiest ride Haunted House is actually next, more than Dynamite Blaster, so maybe there's room for us to promote this a bit better. Um, there's the age of rides, so as you can see, the Dynamite Blaster is the oldest ride in the park, built last year. That could be handy for if there's old ageing rides that need to be replaced. You can sort by income. Uh, things like running costs, so what's the most expensive to run? Well it's a log flume, not surprisingly, because it's very long and there's lots of track to maintain. Uh, and then you've got queue length times, so the queue is longest for the log flume. Log flume is very good value, so we'll probably put the price up for log flume because it's very cheap, it should be more expensive in my opinion. £3, and then it's £2 for an online photo. So there's a lot of profit making going on there. Got queue time, so obviously you want your queue time to be very low. These are fantastic queue times actually. Four minutes is the worst queue we've got in the park. That's pretty impressive. Four minutes, that's the worst, you know. I've not got any 20 minute waits here, or hour waits even. So that's good. Um, you can sort by reliability, so got a ride that breaks down a lot like the dynamite blaster um, that's handy because you might want to change how often it gets an inspection which can reduce downtime so that's all interesting statistics you can get and uh, there's the downtime itself so uh, as you can see zero percent at the moment because um, they're all working which is good and then there's a tab for guest favorite so certain guests have favorite rides is Dynamite Blasters a favourite ride of a lot of people, followed by the log flumes. Uh, so yeah, all very interesting information. Now, the one I use a lot is Profit. And sometimes if something's losing money, it will come up saying minus uh, £300, for example. And if you have that, then you certainly you want to do something about that quickly. Because uh, that's going to damage how much money you're making. Let's just have a look. What we've got. We're pretty, we're pretty good to be honest. I don't think we need to build too much at the moment. What we can do is we've managed to raise about a thousand pounds, so we'll pay back one thousand pounds of our debt, our loan, if you want. So we've now got a nine thousand pound loan that we've got to pay off. So we'll gradually just do that, so that we're in profit and not in the red. So that's a step in the right direction. I think we'll build a Ferris wheel because we've got a lot of people queuing for the haunted house so there's sort of a need for a another gentle ride I think. Let's build that there. Not got enough money. Run out of money. Maybe just a bad time that we. Whoops. Really short of cash. Need twelve pounds to build the path there. There we go. Right. The sooner we get this open, the better, because we need some money. There we go.
twists is broken down. Uh, funny, I forgot we had twists to the right. How much money is it making? Mm, it's been making a fairly good profit. I need to get a hat. I need to get a mechanic up there. Oh, it's going to rain, so let's get the prices up for umbrellas. £3.50. There we go. <laughs> Change the colour of the umbrellas if you want. Let's have. Let's get some pink ones out there. Nah, if she's mine, let's go for yellow. There we go, very good. The queue for the log flume is really starting to pick up now. We're doing really well, we're pretty much up to 500 guests and it's not even year, end of year 1 yet. So we're doing really well. As you can see the haunted house is very busy. Very popular. And that's the rain going off so we'll just drop prices down to 250. Because we're not that mean. We're taking advantage of a good season. Um, but we're not going to rip everybody off so we're not going to charge them too much now. Oh, our advertising campaign for the park has finished. And Dynamite Blaster has broken down. Okay, so the mechanic's already there on the scene, so that's good. We'll probably get a phone call right about now, yeah. So a lot of people are complaining that they're running out of cash. Uh, a feature of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is that you can build cash machines. Um, you can, I, I can get them in this game open RCT but you have to research it so I don't have it at the moment and that's the rain on again so let's get some more umbrellas we'll give them a nice blue colour this time let's have a look at the toilet as well is the toilet losing money? Uh, it is a wee bit actually uh, let's just make it 20p for the toilets because we want nice toilets and there we go. We don't want it losing money, so that's fine. 72 customers, that's not too many considering how long the park's been open, so it's maybe just early days at the moment for that. Let's build um let's build a slide. Let's do that. We've not done that before, have we? Uh so Let's build it here. Now we'll build an entrance. Like that. And then we'll put five people at once. And then we'll get that open. So we can get a few customers. There we go, one person already is on the slide. <laughs> it's definitely an appetite for some more rides. 500 guests. Few people saying they're hungry. So yeah, we're gonna build We're getting hungry, so let's build a burger van. Burger van? Bur burger stand I should say. Let's do that there. There we go. So I'm just having a look at all the prices for things and seeing if we can just make a bit more profit. Because um, we're struggling a wee bit. Uh, oh there we go, we've actually got another £1,000 so that's really good. So we'll just pay back another £1,000 of our loan. Which is great. So I'm really just having a look at guests, thoughts. Um, just trying to see what people are th thinking about the prices that we're charging at the moment. Uh, at the moment, most people are quite happy with the prices, seeing there's lots of good value around. A couple of people feeling very sick. On the ride, oh dear, my goodness. That person does not look happy. 
What's their intensity then? More than four. That's 8.12. So uh, no wonder they're feeling sick. So we could do a bit of Egyptian theming around the car rides because that's not the most popular ride. So if there's anything we can do to make it a bit more exciting, we should do that. Just pop out of there. Uh, what else can we add? Hmm, let's try. Yeah, that's quite good, isn't it? Egyptian lamps. Hmm. The queue is really starting to pick up for the log flume. It's getting more popular. I feel like maybe we need another ride here. Build a carousel. Right, let's see if we can do a bit more promotion of the park. Uh, let's see, I've not really got much money. Let's check out £3,000 again. So we're running an advertising campaign for the park for nine weeks and we've just spent three thousand pounds on that campaign so let's see if we can get the number of guests up now let's have a look at the log for them because the queue length is getting really long now it says um queue times five minutes it's not bad Let's see if I'm getting grumpy. No. What we'll do is we'll create some uh, Q line TV just to keep everybody entertained. I think also we shall sign our panda mascot to do a bit of cheering up. 
in the crates. No one's unhappy, but I just think we should do that, just considering that the queue lane's getting a bit long there. Right, let's make a pirate ship. Okay, well that's pretty much us achieved our objective. Um, we've managed to get 650 guests, and we've got a part rating of 843. So we've done really well to achieve that. I don't think we would have got there without the marketing campaign. So that's interesting. Um, for anyone who's not used to using them in the game, definitely make use of them. Um, quite happy with my log flume I've created. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy all around. It's a pretty good park. So if you quite liked this Let's Play video, um, please comment. Um, as of posting this, um, the comment section has been disabled for public view, but I just realised today that if you comment, I still receive the comments and I can reply to your comments. It's just no one else can see them. Well, publicly they can't be seen. And actually, I'm okay with that if it protects people. Um, you know, it's funny, I've had an increase in people actually commenting since that. So I don't know, some people sometimes worry that their comments are going to get seen by others and that's why they don't comment. So it could be a good thing. Uh, I mean, I want people to engage with the content, so if that's happening then that's great. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, if you've got any parks you're working on or um, any tips you'd like to share with me, I would love to hear them. I'm going to try and make these a bit snappier, these videos. Um, some of the levels are a bit uh, long, um, so hopefully you've learned something. Our log flume has broken down <laughs> and people are stuck. Uh, that's one way to end it. Okay, so if you tune in next time, I'll see you for another edition of Roller Coaster. Taken.